Stripe is a leading payment processing software for all types and sizes of business. Once you have Stripe all set up, you can seamlessly integrate Stripe with other third-party applications like website builders, accounting software, e-commerce applications, scheduling software, and more. You can also take advantage of Stripe's API for more custom integrations. Essentially, Stripe is an all-in-one payment processing software that allows you to easily collect and manage on Online payments. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now in this complete Stripe tutorial slash guide for beginners, I'm going to break down how you can simply set up and use Stripe to essentially collect and manage all your online payments. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into the Stripe tutorial for beginners, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and get your business's online payments up and running with Stripe. <music> Now, before we get started, it's important to note that Stripe as a payment processing software is designed for developers. This means if you want to develop your own custom payment infrastructure online, then Stripe has all the tools, features, and APIs to allow you to do this. However, today we're just gonna guide you through all the essential features that are important for small businesses that are wanting to accept payments online, as well as all the easy to use features that anyone can access. Now think about Stripe as the middleman because this is a payment processing software. Most of the time, depending on the third party applications that you've integrated with Stripe, you do not actually need to access Stripe often. For example, if your website is built with a website builder like Wix, Squarespace, Equid, then Stripe seamlessly integrates with those website builders and you don't have to worry about payments and accessing Stripe to handle your payments. However, if you want to view and manage your customers, then you can dive into Stripe and engage in different things like approving refunds. However, in terms of setting up and managing online payments, Stripe is a great tool similar to PayPal. So to get started, simply navigate up to pricing. And the great thing about Stripe, if we navigate down to pricing, is you pay as you go. You can see that we have a flat 2.9% plus 30 cents per successful transaction. There are no setup fees, monthly fees, or hidden fees. So when using Stripe to handle your payments, you just need to consider this fee over here. Okay, so to get started, simply navigate down to get started in minutes if you currently do not have a Stripe account. Okay, so here what you wanna do is go ahead and create your Stripe account, follow the step-by-step -step process of creating your account, and we will meet you inside your Stripe dashboard. And here we are inside our Stripe account. Now, if it's your first time accessing Stripe, you will need to verify your email, and you'll also need to activate payments. And to do this, we just need to fill out our business information. So go ahead and verify your email, then navigate back over here and click Activate Payments. And here we want to set up our Stripe account by adding our business information, by connecting our bank account, and then we have the option to add this other information down here. So what you want to do is pause this video and take your time to add your business information. This should only take you a few minutes, then we'll meet you back inside your Stripe dashboard. And by connecting your bank account, this is ultimately going to allow us to receive payments through Stripe. So go ahead, fill out your business information, then head back to your Stripe dashboard. And back on your dashboard, what you can also do is navigate up to the top left hand corner and click here. And this is where you can create an additional account. At the moment, you can see that I have three accounts. These are for the different software that I've used to integrate with Stripe. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and use this account. And as you can see, I've named this account Calendly because this is my Stripe account where I receive payments from Calendly. So if you like, you can add multiple accounts. Now, if you have a small business, most likely you just want to have one account. 
and within that account you're going to manage all your payments your customers and all the different products that you offer okay so diving into stripe if we navigate up to home you can see that we have home selected this is our home dashboard if we navigate down the page you can see basic analytics in terms of the performance of this account you can see gross volume net volume sales your new customers successful payments and we have other basic analytics down here now the first thing that I want to do is add a customer so if we click on customers now if we navigate over to test mode basically this allows you to test your integration before you go live so if you have products that you want to test with your customers you can use the test mode to test purchases before making real purchases and you can see down here that we can add our first test customer if we want to test different products different transactions for this customer However, let's say that we want to add a real customer. What we're going to do is turn test mode off. And as you can see, if we come down here, we can add our first customer. However, if you're playing around with Stripe for the first time, you can keep test mode on. Now, you'll notice that I have zero customers. However, if you've integrated Stripe with a third-party application like a website builder, accounting or invoicing software, then all those customers that you've generated from third-party applications that are linked to your Stripe account, you will see them down here. And this is where you can manage all your customers. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add our first customer. I'm going to quickly add a name. And then we want to add the customer's email. We can manually go ahead and add a description. And then we can also navigate down to billing information. Now, if you have the billing information for this customer, you can go ahead and add that in here. Again, if we navigate up here, you can add the shipping details. You can add the time zone, language for this customer, currency, and information about the invoice. We're going to leave that for now and come down and click add customer. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and manually added our first customer. Now this is for today's tutorial. However, most likely you're not going to be manually adding your customers. Your customers are going to be automatically generated and imported into your Stripe account through the third party applications that you're using. For example, if you're using an e-commerce platform, let's say Wix or Equid, and then a customer purchases a product from your website, then that customer is going to be added in your Stripe account. And I'll also show you another way that you can send a link to your customers where they can add themselves as a customer to your account. So again, like I mentioned, under customers, this is where you can manage all your different customers. Now, if we navigate over to products, this is where you can add products and the pricing associated with those products. So for example, if we navigate down and click add product, Go ahead and add a name of your first product. This could be a service, a product offering that you sell to your customers. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to add Consulting Gold Tier, which is a service we offer. Then if I navigate down to Description, I can add a brief description. We can then navigate over to Image. You can upload an image of this product that you're offering. Then if we navigate down to Additional Options, we can add a statement descriptor, unit label, and we have metadata down here. If you want to add this information, this is all optional. Then down here, pricing information, we can go ahead and select the pricing model. For example, we have standard pricing selected. We can also select package pricing, graduated pricing, and volume pricing. Now, if you want to learn about all the different pricing models, simply navigate over here and read through all the different pricing options. We're going to keep standard pricing selected. Down here we have price. I'm going to add the one-time price, 299 New Zealand dollars. We can change the currency over here. Now we can also navigate down and choose if the pricing is a one-time price or if it's reoccurring. Now this is if you're creating subscription plans. So for example, I could turn this product into a reoccurring package. So rather than charging just $299 for one one-hour consultation, I could turn this into a 12-month plan where they pay $299 every month for 12 months. However, we're going to leave that as one time. Then if we navigate down the page to additional options, then we can add a price description for internal purposes. And we can also add an additional price. We're going to leave that as it is, navigate up to the top and click save product. 
Okay, so we've added our first product. Now what we can also do is navigate down the page and click Create Payment Link. And one of the great features that Stripe has recently released is the payment link or the product link. Basically what you can do with each of your products is generate a link for that product and you can send that product a link or payment link to your customers. That's going to take them to a payment page like this where they can add their information, they can purchase your product or service and they will become a customer inside your account. So remember, like I mentioned earlier, rather than manually adding new customers, what you can do is send this payment link, this product page link, and your customers can purchase your products. Now for the payment page, we can go ahead and customize the payment page. We can select the product. We have other products down here that we can add if we like, if we have other products that we want our customers to choose from. Then if we come down here to options, we can click customer's address and we can require customers to provide a phone number if we like and we have more advanced options. Now before we go live, we also want to click on confirmation page and ensure we're happy with the confirmation page. You can go ahead and replace the default custom message if you like over here, or you can choose to don't show the confirmation page and send people directly to your own website once the payment has been processed. Or if you like, you can redirect your customers to any location. And then you can also navigate over to preview and view what each of the pages look like on desktop and mobile. Then when you're ready to go live, simply click create link. And as you can see, your link is ready to go. Now what we can do with this link is go ahead and copy this link and we can use this in our marketing materials. We can also add the link or embed the link onto our website if we like. And we can also create a QR code so that our visitors can use their smartphone and simply point their camera at the QR code and that's gonna take them to this product or payment page. Okay, so as you can see, that's taken us to payments. Now what we're going to do is navigate down to all payments. And this is where we can come down and accept our first payment by creating an invoice. Go ahead and click send an invoice. You can go ahead and add a new customer or choose from an existing customer. We can come down to items and select a product. I'm going to go ahead and select consulting gold tier. And that's going to add our product here. We can simply go ahead and click save. Now if I cancel this. I can navigate up to items again and I can create a one-time item and this could be a product or service or it could be my billing hours for a specific project. Again I'm going to come down and click cancel and then finally we can also navigate up to items and create a new product if we like. Now if we navigate down here we have a memo that we can customize, we have payment options, we can automatically charge a payment method on file so if this customer already had a payment method on file then that will automatically be charged and the invoice will be sent to the customer. We can also choose to email the invoice to the customer with the link to the payment page. So again, if this is a new customer and you do not have their payment information, then all you would do is send the email invoice and also the link to the payment page that we just created. And that customer can simply purchase our product directly through that payment page. So what I'm going to do is navigate up to items and simply select this item, come down and click save. And if we like, we can add additional items or create additional products and one-time products to add to this invoice if we like. I'm going to quickly add a memo. And if I navigate up here, because this customer I just added earlier did not have a payment method, what I want to do is come down and make sure that I have email invoice to customer with link to payment page so they can also make this payment. Then I can navigate up to review invoice and then we can add additional emails if we like and then click send invoice. And as you can see, it's as simple as that to collect online payments using Stripe. So what I'm going to do is exit out of this, continue editing and then exit out of this invoice. Finally, we can navigate down to subscriptions and this is where we can create subscriptions. Over on the far right hand side, you can see the pricing information for subscriptions. Then if we navigate below subscriptions, we have quotes. Again, similar to creating an invoice, you can go ahead and create quotes and then send this to your customers. If we navigate down, we have payment links 
and this is where we can manage all our payment links. This is the payment link or the product link that we created earlier. As you can see, the status is active. And then we have other basic information over here. We can navigate over to edit. And if we like, we can deactivate this payment link. And because this is just a tutorial, we're going to keep the payment link deactivated. And to finish up, we can also navigate over to balances. This is where you can see your payouts. This is your account balance for Stripe. Then if we navigate over to reports, this is more advanced. This is where you can generate financial reports through Stripe. Then we also have connect. And this is where you can start the process of integrating your Stripe account with other third party applications. For example, if we navigate down to accept payments with a Stripe partner, no code required, you can see some of the top partners here. These are website builders, Wix, WooCommerce and Squarespace. You can also locate a different partner if you use a different website builder, accounting software, communication platform that you want to integrate Stripe with so you can receive payments. And then if we navigate up to create in the top right hand corner and click here, this is where we can quickly go ahead and create a new invoice, a new subscription, recurring payment or a payment link. However, that is everything I wanted to share in this Stripe tutorial for beginners, helping you set up and get started with Stripe so you can receive payments online. And there we have it guys, that is it for this complete Stripe overview for beginners. Now if you have any questions about Stripe, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone.